Here we have in the diagram, M and N are the centers of the circles of equal radii 7 cm. The circles intercept at P and Q. If angle PMQ equal angle PNQ, that's PMQ equal PNQ, because see, this is 60 and 60 degrees. Calculate correct to the nearest whole number the area of the shaded portion, the area of the shaded portion. So we have to calculate the area of this shaded portion, this, this region here this region here okay so we'll, we'll do that very fast now to solve this we could divide this shaded portion into two equal parts what we'll do is we'll just draw a chord from point P down to point Q Let, let's do that together so we'll just draw from point P to point Q okay so we have the chord from P to Q so this chord divides the shaded portion into two equal parts so let me just shade one part of it with this paint let me shade it let me shade okay so we have one portion of, of the shaded part like this. So what we'll do here is to calculate the area of the shaded portion. Let's calculate the area of half of the shaded portion. Then and then we've gotten half or area of half of the shaded portion will multiply by two. Okay. Since half here is one part, by the time we get this part, we we'll multiply by two, then we get the total area of the shaded portion. To do that, let's get a circle. So imagine this is our circle. Alright, just let's just take this as our circle. I know it's not perfect, but let's just let's just manage this. So if this is our circle, we have the center at this point. So this is our M this is M let me make it clear this is M okay this is M then we have our radius like this then we have our radius like this then we could draw the chord down we could draw the chord down down to this point okay so this is the point P and this is the point Q. So this is half of the area we are looking for. This is half of it. So what we'll do is we'll find this this portion. Then when we've gotten the area of this portion, we'll multiply by two to get the total area of the shaded portion. So from here we know that PMQ is a sector. So we could just bring it out. We could just bring it out like this. We could just bring it out like this. And we'll draw this down. Then we'll draw this portion, that's the shaded portion, we'll draw the shaded portion, let's just take it as this. So take the shaded portion as this, so we'll just say P, M, Q. That's, that's the sector. So we'll notice the angle here, the angle here is 60 degrees, so we'll just put 60 degrees. This portion also is 60 degrees, so that portion is 60 degrees. So what we need to do here is to calculate the area of this shaded portion. This shaded portion, we need the area of this shaded portion. But we know that the area of the sector, we know that the area of sector, area of sector, let's just say PMQ, equal to the area of the triangle, this triangle here equal to the area of this triangle so just saying equal area of triangle PMQ plus the area of the shaded portion that's this shaded portion let me make it different this shaded portion this shaded portion okay so we just write plus the area area of shaded portion so we have that the area of sector PMQ equal to the area of triangle PMQ plus the area of the shaded shaded portion. So we need the area of the shaded portion. We're concerned with the area of the shaded portion, not the area of triangle or the area of sector. So we could just write out area of shaded portion. Area of shaded portion equal the area of sector PMQ. Area of sector PMQ minus the area of the triangle minus area of triangle area of triangle PMQ so we know that the area of a sector we know that the area of a sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared then the area of a triangle now normally the area of a triangle is half breadth times height but in this case we'll not use half breadth times height because we have an angle 60 degrees in this in this triangle so when you have an angle in a triangle like this when you have an angle in a triangle like this and let's see let's see this is theta and this is a and this is b if you have something like this the area of a triangle is always half 
a b that's the two side a times b sine theta this is always the area of the triangle when you have angle theta like so we'll use the same concept we'll use the same concept here so it will be half a b now you know this is our radius seven centimeter this is seven centimeter let me, let me make that clear seven centimeters so that's our radius seven centimeter this is also going to be seven centimeter so we'll have it as r square r square sine theta because the a b we had initially would now be r times r which is r square sine theta so we'll substitute our values here we have theta 60 degrees 60 degrees all over 360 degrees times pi is giving us 22 over 7 so we have 22 over 7 times the radius the radius is giving us 7 so we have 7 times 7 because we have r square here so we can we just put this in bracket you can put this in bracket then we'll put bracket 1 over 2 times the radius squared as 7 times 7 times sine theta which is 60 degrees so here we could just write we could, we could just write down here that 0 cancel 0 6 here 1 6 here 6 then um 7 cancel 7 then here we would have we could just we could just write this as 22 times 7 all over 6 then here we'll have here we'll have 7 times 7 that will be 49 times sine 60 degrees all over 2 all over 2 so we need our calculator to solve this so let's bring the calculator out so here we have 22 times 7 divided by 6 so that's 25.67 so we could just write 25.67 minus so we'll do the next one we'll do 49 times sine 60 sine 60 degrees and that's this divided by 2 divided by 2 and we have 21.21 let's just take 21.22 approximately so we have 21 Point two two approximately so we'll have 4.45 that's the centimeter squared okay so this is the area of half of the shaded portion so to answer the question to answer the question we could now say the area of the shaded portion do you have the shaded portion equal to 2 times 4.45 and this will give us 8.9 centimeters square so if we, if we approximate this this is approximately 9 centimeters square so this is the area this is the area of the shaded portion we have to calculate half of the shaded portion which is 4.45 then multiply it by 2 to give us the total area of the shaded portion at this point